What's up guys, I'm Rusty. Welcome to the channel. This is one of my very few finished projects, and I say finished lightly because it's, it's actually not finished, but it's good enough. So what started off as an innocent Honda lawnmower is now a screaming street bike machine. It's got a CB750F 1981 dual overhead cam crammed into this thing. Look at that. So how did I fit this massive 750 engine in this tiny lawnmower? Very delicately. So street bikes have a gas tank over the engine so it's gravity fed to the carburetors. I can't do that on a lawnmower. So what I had to do is over here, if you look under the gas tank, I mean under the seat, there is a, this way, a fuel tank from a wood chipper that I cut in half, welded to a plate, which is the skid plate. I've got a 12 volt fuel pump feeding up to this little Amazon pressure regulator got it set at 2 PSI right now. It works perfect. Doesn't overflow the carbs. It works. The choke. <laughs> the choke was another issue. Basically the throttle and the choke all needed to be modified to be able to work, but it works. Uh, choke is right here. Just a regular pull choke. Throttle. Linkages work. Everything works great. That's the brake right here. The rear end in this thing came out of a 300EX, but it's not a factory 300EX hub, because those suck. This is an aftermarket hub. We got extended axle. Factory rear brakes from the, the 300EX. We do not have front brakes. I don't think I really need them. I've gone plenty fast, and I was able to stop. This sprocket right here, I actually had to CNC design and cut with my plasma cutter. Uh, to adapt to the size of the chain on the engine and fit onto the hub. That worked out. I'm curious how long that's going to work because that's just re regular mild steel. But it's working so good so far. We've got a Harley Davidson battery. Uh, Harley gas cap. So these headers I actually made from uh, pieces of the factory exhaust from the CB750 and also some Harley pipes. That's actually a Harley muffler with a pair of turnouts that we welded on there. People, a lot of people thought that I'd have problems because there's no crossover or nothing. Could be, a, could be a problem, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So the steering was probably the most difficult part of this entire build. Uh, the steering. <laughs> Originally, I had linkages hooked up to this, which was a terrible idea. The steering was so stiff, and when you're on this thing going like 100 down the street, or at a track, I mean, not the street, <laughs> in Mexico, you want to have good steering. So I went with a rack and pinion steering out of a Polaris Ranger. I had to shorten the tie rods which was an ordeal. I learned how to reverse thread on my lathe because, you know, as you know, one side is reverse thread, but if you don't know, it is. The linkage, it goes to a U-joint right off the back of there, under the engine, <laughs> into a 90 degree gearbox somewhere down in there, up to another U-joint, and then into another U-joint over here, through two pillow blocks and then up to here. I mean, this thing, oh God. <laughs> this thing is solid. The steering, immaculate. No worries whatsoever about the steering. My floor mats are not glued down yet, but the steering is great. The shifting linkage, very crude, very simple. It just comes up through the the turtle and rabbit hole, which I love, that was a good feature. It's, it's just a piece of steel, but I was thinking I could 
put like a knife handle type material on there and that would look real nice. The key is the original Honda lawnmower key. <laughs> Wired that right up into the ignition. Good to go. Uh, let's talk about the, the clutch and the, and the like, throttle and brake. So the clutch, it's just like driving a car. The clutch is on the left, throttle is on the right, but the brake is above the throttle. So if you don't know how to ride it, you might hit the throttle while you're hitting the brake, but as long as you got your foot on the clutch, it shouldn't be a problem. I learned very quick how to ride this thing. <laughs> you just gotta lift your heel and hit the brake, just stab it. It's got that classic Moon Eyes octagon steering wheel. The white complements the letters on the hood Mwah, perfectly. The wheels, uh, sunk. I don't know, they're sunk tires. I got steel rear rims. The uh, original 300DX ones were aluminum. I went with the steel because the fronts are the factory Honda lawnmower wheels, which I decided to keep because look at the size of the bearings in that thing. Dual bearings, sealed bearings. No lawnmower comes with bearings like that anymore. Are you kidding me? I'm just now realizing I'm missing a cotter pin, but that's okay. But yeah, that's pretty much the rundown. This is my Honda lawnmower. The chain, the chain going from the engine to the rear end is about 10 feet long. <laughs> it's got an idler on the top and the bottom. It's got chain guides. It slaps around a little bit, but it works. I used to not have this. This was not here before. It was just open and everybody was worried for my safety and my, my safety because of the chain. They thought I was gonna remove a member, but I put that on there. It's solid 16 gauge steel. My balls are safe. Jason got that on camera or not, but I just jumped that rock. <laughs> I hit the curb on the side of the road here and went whoop over that rock. Didn't even touch the rock. Just went, you can see my tracks. My tire tracks right there. I just went rip over the rock and landed right here. No damage, we're good. Remember in the beginning of the video when I said it was done but it wasn't done? That's the part I'm talking about. It doesn't run perfect. And a lot of that has to do with these CV style carburetors that they put on the dual overhead cam CB750s. They do not like individual pods. I'm planning on building a four into one and then messing with the jets and the needles and everything in the carburetors to get it dialed in perfectly. I'm going to Ohio with this thing in November coming up going to a buddy's house, he's building his own racing lawnmower, and then we're going to race them. Bring it on, duddy. You ain't got shit. Your John Deere with a Harley Davidson Sports 3883 ain't got nothing on my Honda 750, all right? You can just keep on dreaming, all right? I'm gonna be doing circles around you as long as, as, long as I can get these carburetors figured out. Shouldn't be too bad. If you guys like what you saw here today, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel because I'm always building these wild contraptions. And when you guys follow, it makes me finish them. And uh, there's also merch for this bad boy. Link in my bio. 
I got lawn uh, Rusty's lawn care, Rusty's speedy lawn care merch. We also have Rusty Machine Co. merch for the channel. We got shirts, hats. Uh, might not have hoodies right now, but we got stickers. We got all the good merch. Just check it out.